This mature larch tree is uh, showing several symptoms that uh, would make an inspector suspicious of uh, potential infection of Phytophthora remorum. What we're seeing is uh, branches with uh, defoliation. We're also seeing a branch with uh, gingering foliage, suggesting that the branch has been uh, girdled quite recently. And if you look closely on the main stem, a few foot above the main branch that is girdled or is gingering, you can make out a resin bleed coming out down on the main stem, suggesting that there's activity under the bark and uh, the tree is uh, indeed infected. <laughs> When a tree has been felled, the first thing that people will be looking for is uh, symptoms that aren't under the bark. So, for example, we'll be looking for resin bleeds and uh, signs of potential signs of sporulating foliage and other things such as the girdled branches uh, showing, showing the gingered, gingering foliage. Uh, on this tree, we can see the, the tree has been under attack on multiple points by the disease. It hasn't come in from any single place. Uh, we start with a fine branch up here you can see there's been a girdled branch foliage has died off and on the branch we can see a, a sort of resin bleed here this is a typical symptom of infection with Phytophthora morum is resin bleed so there's a point of attack here moving on to a slightly large branch here you can see again further girdling no foliage on this at all and signs of resin bleed here on the branch and the more you investigate the more bleeds become apparent until you go and look on larger branches and then eventually the main stem and you'll go and see larger and more profuse branches depending on the level of infection. When you investigate under the bark of a, of a suspect infected larch tree, you'll see uh, different uh, symptoms that we would expect to associate with this infection. So here we scrape back underneath the, the resinous bleed and uh, the, firstly there's a, a mottling going on where there's being resin is being produced. And behind that, the, the bark has gone brown, the, the phloem has gone brown and necrotic, uh, showing that there's been a death and dieback of the, of the material there. And also, in association with more established infection, you'll find red reaction zones, quite distinct for Phytophthora morum. If you go and see the, a combination of these alongside the, the symptoms you observed on the outside of the tree, and alongside the evidence you can gather from a lateral flow device uh, uh, confirming the presence of a Phytophthora under the bark, then the evidence is overwhelming. Here you can see on this branch progression from pale healthy tissue under the bark to brown areas of uh, dead necrotic uh, tissue and also the resinous red crimson reaction zone often seen in association with uh, infection of Phytophthora remorum in the larch. And looking further down you've got the typical resin bleeds you see on the, on the, here on the main stem. Uh, knowing that this branch was alive above here suggests the infection that is coming up here has moved from this totally dead branch next door and there you can see under the bark the material is all brown and necrotic showing the branch has been totally girdled by the disease.